before getting into the algorithmic details of the Genome Assembly, allows me to introduce a crazy yet similar problem to the Genome Assembly problem. It is the newspaper explosion problem. We have multiple copies of the same New York Times newspaper. We put them on a pile of dynamite and trigger the explosion. But please do not do it at home. This is just hypothetical. So the explosion tears the newspaper into pieces. Some of these pieces got burnt completely. Some of these got burnt just partially. The question, what did the newspaper say? Well, in order to reconstruct the newspaper from these remaining pieces, there's a very important intuition behind. We use the overlapping information to construct the newspaper. In this picture, you see there are two pieces, and we can see that they have overlapping information. So we merge these two pieces into one bigger piece and continue the process. If you are lucky, then you are going to see the newspaper and the content of the New York Times in June the 27 is about the human genome DNA. Now I'm ready to describe the genome sequencing and assembly in the language of newspaper explosion. Similar to the newspaper explosion problem, where we have multiple copies of the same newspaper, here we also have multiple copies of the same genome. In this slide, you may count that we have four copies. But in reality, we have millions of copies. Also similar to the process that, process that the explosion tears the newspaper into pieces, we also fragment the DNA into smaller fragments. These short fragments are called reads. Some reads got disappeared. And the task is from these remaining pieces, reconstruct the original genome. Remember there is no position information is known. So a way to solve this puzzle is to apply the same intuition as you solve the newspaper explosion puzzle. Use the overlapping information. If you see two reads here, they have overlapping fragments. Then you would reconcile these two pieces into a single piece and move further. So this is the overall picture of the genome sequencing and assembly. You have multiple copies of the genome. The sequencing machine generates reads. And the task of the genome assembly is to, re from this read, to reconstruct the original genome. What makes genome sequencing so difficult? The genome is like a book written in the alphabet of nucleotide, ATCG. But its length is 3 billion. But unlike we read a book, a modern sequencing machine cannot read from the start to the end of this book. But instead, they can only shred the genome and generate short reads. So some people think that the genome puzzle is actually a giant puzzle. But please remember, this one is not similar to the normal jigsaw puzzle, where pieces do not overlap in the genome puzzle, because reads overlap. So this should be called an overlapping puzzle.